Hello guys, today I want to talk about one of the most common mistakes inexperienced developers make. This is hard coding values. This usually comes with a thought that if the value 2 is on my machine, on my computer, in my database, representing the thing that I expect it to represent, in this case role called broker, then that's all I need to do. In reality, what if on other server, on staging server, on live server for other developers in the future databases that ID may not be two? So in this video, let's explore what we can do instead and how to make it more reliable, flexible, and also we will touch on performance if we want it to be kind of too flexible. So step by step. The situation is this, and this comes from one of our filament demo projects in the registration form. We have this form with selecting the role investor or broker. And in the database, we have those two as role stable investor and broker seeded in the database seeder like this, assuming it's done on the empty table, on the empty database. And that's the first assumption that may be wrong. Maybe while launching the seeders somewhere else, the database of roles would not be empty by then. And then that name broker would be ID 3 or 4 or bigger. So that's why a better approach would be to find the role by name or by whatever criteria you have. In this case, we do have all those roles in the collection of Laravel. So all we need to do is to search for the value in that collection. So instead of default to, I will paste it from my notes. We have a callback function, short closure function, search in the collection for the name of broker. And that would give the same result. If we refresh the page, we refresh and still the default value is set to broker. So it didn't break anything. If you're dealing with arrays, for example, you can launch something like array search. Or by the way, kind of a side note, did you know that in upcoming PHP 8.4, this is a tweet by Laravel News, we'll have three more valuable function in array find, array find key, array any. So a few examples here, I will link that tweet in the description below so you can explore the future possibilities. But anyway, the logic is that you do not hard code the IDs. That said, here we have another hard coded value, broker. What if that changes in the future? What if, for example, you would have to add a role of like company broker and external broker, something like that? This would be okay if that string happens only in one place. But I have a feeling that we need to check broker in multiple places, not just in the registration. And this is exactly what I'm getting to with the second example, policy. Filament as admin panel relies on policies for the access. So for example, if we do register as a broker here with fake filler Chrome extension, choose broker, sign up, and then we have assets menu item, which may or may not be visible for our role. And this is actually checked in the policy. And again, inexperienced developers could hard code it as number two. For example, if I change that to three as a proof, we don't have that assets access anymore. It's forbidden. So this is how filament works. Let's refresh the page. And how can we improve this one? Again, we can change that to to broker. And for that, we would need to actually load the relationship. So role ID is belongs to field within the user table. What we need to do instead is do something like that. So role name broker, if we refresh the page, it still loads well, everything is good, but we have additional eloquent query. So we're eager loading the role. And if we take a look at the debug bar, we have select from roles where role ID two. And this is what I meant when I talked about performance in the very beginning of this video. So this is kind of the other end of the spectrum. So this code is more readable, but it loads additional SQL query to the database. That said, personally, I'm fine with that query. It's very quick. It's selecting by ID from a very small table, but it adds additional live check of the data for permissions, which is kind of important thing from security point of view, because what if something changed in the database? So you would constantly need to check for security permissions. That is a good security practice. So a better approach in all that policy method would be to have role name here in all those functions, including those. Actually, let's replace it to have a full complete example so you would understand. So that is broker and that is broker. 
good and actually probably there's a mistake here that should be added here as well to view only their own assets anyway the final hard-coded thing here is the string broker i'm kind of jumping back and forth but i hope you get the idea and this is actually how it's happening in real life projects you try to refactor one part then you touch another part and then you see that your initial idea is still missing something so it's kind of a lot of jumping back and forth in real projects anyway so this is what i'm trying to show in this video instead of just polishing for the end result anyway we have broker here and what if that changes there are multiple ways how you can solve it but usually from what i've seen people solve that with constants or enum values but basically enums are the same constants with just more structure but you could do for example in the role model or in the user model or wherever you prefer let's try to do that in the role model role php model let's add a few constants here so constant role for example broker would be hard-coded string of broker like this and let's duplicate that and we have another role of investor like this investor like this and then what it allows you to do is instead of that string everywhere you would add role role broker like this and that sounds like a longer piece of code instead of this string and i will actually replace it everywhere of course i could use id multi replace but anyway i'm doing it manually so we did the same thing does it still work we refresh the page it does still work so we didn't break anything but what it allows you to do is if in the future that name changes for whatever reason all you need to do is change it here in one place wherever you define that constant again it could be enum class it could be constant but that's the same kind of thing not hard-coded string in multiple places in your code so here instead of hard coding to or broker again we should do role role broker here now first you're protected from id being different in the future because you query by name and also you're protected from name being changed in the future or not protected but kind of more flexible with that constant what do you think have you encountered a similar issue in the past of hard-coded ids or strings in your code which then caused real bugs in production share your stories in the comments below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos